Hi there, my name is Matthew, I'm the course lead for the Diagnostic Imaging Radiography degree here at the ACC University College and also the Clinical Imaging lead. We have lots of clinical imaging services here as well as all of our um, undergraduate and postgraduate programs that we do. So what I thought we could do today is just have a bit of a look around and just kind of introduce you to all of the services that we have here that are involved in clinical imaging. So why don't we go in and take a look. So you've joined us now in the main building, so this is um, the main reception area. So what we thought we'd do is also have just a bit of a tour around, kind of on our way around to look at all the clinical imaging services. As you can still see, we're COVID safe at the moment, so we've got a mask on and we have to check in as well and gel our hands on the way in. Okay, okay so you've now joined us in our main building. So this main building is where a lot of the lectures will be for lots of our undergraduate students and also some of our postgrads. Uh, we also have our uh, eating facilities and bar down there, so we've got Spine and Dine, pun intended, and also we have our student union down here as well, which is a really nice space for you guys to be able to chill out and relax when you're not involved in clinical imaging or any of these studies. So now we're going to go to the other buildings on site and have a look at some of those imaging services we've been talking about. Okay, so now you've joined us outside our main clinic building. So this clinic building houses the chiropractic clinic, which is the biggest chiropractic clinic in the UK, and it also houses some MSK services. As well as that, it also houses our open upright MRI scanner service, which is one of the only ones in the country which allows patients to go in there who suffer with claustrophobia and also do upright and erect scanning, which we'll come on to more in a little bit. But here's the outside of the building, now we'll head inside. Okay, so you've joined us in one of our x-ray rooms, which is housed within the chiropractic clinic. So here we previously did some upright work in one of our buckies over there for chiropractic patients and some externals. And also you can see that we have a C arm here. So this has previously been used in some research looking at how the spine moves and how it moves during movement and how much gaps there are between the spines which allows us to work out treatments for patients. But this is also utilized for our students whilst they learn how to move all the theater equipment that they'll be doing whilst they're in their clinical placement which will then guide them into the future for when they go into their own practice. So this is something that would be used in theater to assist surgeries putting in things like ORIS, which is an open reduction internal fixation, which is a bit like using Meccano to put bones back together. So it assists the surgeons whilst they put the screws in to make sure everything goes back as it should do in the right place. This would also be used in a urology theatre to put stents in to allow the kidneys to drain properly. So this is one of the things that makes our site really exciting for students to come in because they can see all these different facilities that we have and really get hands on with them. So when you go on placement, you know what you're doing, and then you get your experience straight away. So let's go look at something else. Okay, so we're here in the clinic building and we're just outside our lovely MRI suite. So what we're gonna do is just pop in there and Debbie, one of our senior radiographers, is gonna to explain to you what the MRI does, what we use it for, and how you can benefit from those students. Hi, my name is Debbie and I'm the senior MR radiographer here at AECC University College. And this is our MRI scanner. It's a 0.5 Tesla open MRI, quite unique. There's only seven of them in the country. Um, unique because it has this open design. So instead of being a tunnel like a conventional scanner, we're very open and because of that, we can scan people in different positions. The scanner was originally bought for research because they wanted to be able to look at the spine in different positions. So people sitting, standing, bending forward, bending backwards. But what we most mostly use it for is patients who are not happy in conventional scanners. So we get a lot of claustrophobic patients, a lot of larger patients, a lot of patients who can't lie down as you would have to do in a conventional scanner. So quite a unique uh, number of patients that come through but very satisfying um, and lovely to be able to scan people that wouldn't otherwise be able to have an MRI scan. We run Monday to Fridays here. If you choose to come and join us here at AECC University College, as part of your training, you'll come into the MRI and work with myself and my colleague Mel and see all of the different things that we're able to do, like turn our scanning table into a scanning chair. So for those patients who can't lie down, they get to have a nice little sit while they're having their MRI. Okay, so we're back outside and as you can see the sunny Bournemouth weather hasn't actually joined us today but fingers crossed when you actually get here. This is our radiology clinical skills suite. So this is where our chiropractic students and our radiography students will be learning how to take x-rays under the guidance of our tutors such as myself and some of the rest of our team. 
We also have patients coming in here to have x-rays from external referrers and also from the chiropractic clinic that we were in earlier. So it's a really great modern space to be able to really learn how to take the x-rays, but in an actual environment, that's the same as every x-ray in that you'll see throughout the country in clinical practice. Really gets you ready for it, and there's a nice ward space in there which we'll have a look at now. Welcome to one of our ultrasound rooms we have here in Cavendish House. So we have 16 clinical ultrasound rooms where we're able to put patients in and student models to be able to train our ultrasound students. We also utilise this for radiography students and lots of different professions who come here to train with us at the ACC University College. We have patient lists running with NHS patients and private patients and also clinic patients throughout most of the days. So it's a really busy environment but also a place where the students can utilise all of those patients coming in so they really learn how to do the job on proper patients with proper equipment. We have state-of-the-art Samsung machines in every single room which really allows us to give students the experience that they will get again on their actual practice when they qualify. It's a real big strength of our university that we have such a wide breadth of ultrasound equipment and different scan types that we do. And we're really excited to be able to share this with you throughout your education journey um, and you'll all get a chance to come in and kind of see all of this equipment and also have a play as well. Let's go look at something else again. Okay, you've joined us now in our clinical skill suite. So this is where we have our simulated ward area. What this allows us to do is give our students, so you guys coming in, the experience of what it's like to work on a ward and do manual handling with things like hoists. You'll get the opportunity to do this on each other as part of tutorials. And there isn't really a better way of knowing what it feels like than to actually have it done to you. So we'll also be sliding around, moving around on the bed, doing manual handling techniques, doing first aid training in here, and also seeing what it's like to work in a ward environment. That way, when you get on your placement, you kind of know how it all works already, so you can really get in there, help the team, and understand how it works before you go there to gain some experience. This is open to all of our students, and we do a lot of radiography stuff in here, for example, doing practice portables on wards. Okay, let's go look at the x-ray. So this is our digital radiography x-ray suite. This is a state-of-the-art, brand new Agfa system which came in last summer when we started our degree. It really does have all of the features that you could ever need to be able to do fantastic radiography for patients and also it's an amazing facility for you guys to be able to learn on. It's able to move around in an automated way to positions that we want it to and you're also able to remove all of those helpful features so you can learn what it's like to use a machine that maybe doesn't have all of the features that were bought. This is a really big space which allows us to work in groups and practice positioning on each other. As you can see as we walk around the room, there's a bed here. So we do lots of radiography on a bed. We also do lots of radiography on this, which is the upright bucky, where patients would be positioned up against this and then examined in an upright position. Obviously things change when they have weight going through it, so we can discuss all of that stuff. This is our x-ray tube. very used to doing is moving it around and seeing how it all works. You will all get the opportunity to rotate through here and see some patients throughout your studies. One of the things we do which is really beneficial is we'll use student models where actually train. What that does is allow you to practice in your pairs or in your groups on a patient who can then give you all the experience you need before you go on your clinical placements. The idea is by the time you go on your first clinical placement approximately, if you're a radiography student, approximately six weeks in, you will already know how all of this works. So when you go on your placement, you get experience rather than learning how to move the equipment. That's a really big benefit of our course, particularly being such a tight-knit cohort, it allows us to spend the time with you to make sure you know what you're doing before you go. And we've been really well received on placement from all of our placement providers for being able to do just that. Really excited to get you guys in here, moving all this stuff around, doing all the positioning and also seeing some patients. I mentioned some of the automated features, so I just want to show you now. At the moment, as you can see, the x-ray tube is facing towards you. How I want it to be for the patient I'm about to do a chest x-ray on is pointing over there up against the upright bucky. So I can walk over here, press this button, and it will move for me. It makes a loud noise to make sure it doesn't get into anybody we know it's moving. But as you can see, it's positioning itself, centered up to this bucky over here, which is where the patient will be. 
What that does is remove the strain on the operator and ensures that things are as productive as they can be, causing as minimal effort to myself as possible, because obviously you want things to be as effortless as possible. This is our control panel. Whenever you're taking an x-ray, you have to ensure that you and anyone else you're working with is behind the screen so they don't get exposed to the radiation from the x-ray tube. Obviously the patient's going to get the radiation, but it's their examination, not ours, and we would get thousands each year if we did not do that. Behind the screen is also our control panel. So this sets up everything to do with the examination, such as something called exposure factors, which are basically how strong the x-rays are and how many of them there are. It also sets up to ensure we have the right patient on there doing the right examination and they get sent off to the right place to be reported. This is kind of where all of the stuff happens, all of the kind of admin -y kind of things that we need and outside there is where all of the kind of positioning clinical side goes. Last but not least, you've joined us in our vert room. This is a virtual learning environment for radiotherapy. Although it's not strictly speaking clinical imaging, it's a large part of how radiotherapy students will learn how to do their clinical needs before they go on placement. What it is, is a simulated linear accelerator, which has a huge screen which allows students to use the actual control panel you would use for an, a real linear accelerator and practice before you go on placement. So this has just been a bit of an introduction to all of the clinical imaging services around that we have on the ACC University College. We're really excited for you to get in, have a look at them and use them throughout your studies. And we're looking forward to seeing you very shortly in a few weeks time in October. Thank you.